Hello, all you Tibet lovers out there. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about the normal linka, uh, which is not so strangely very close to my heart. I, I remember very clearly jumping in the back of a jeep with Kim Yeshi and Kelsey Yeshi uh, 25, 30 years ago uh, when they were showing me this, this property, which was a tea plantation kind of in the middle of nowhere in the valley below Dharamsala and laying out the vision they had of doing their part to preserve Tibetan culture and arts. And uh, they did it. You know, I was very happy to be able to help them. Other people were delighted to help as well. And they threw a lot of work and, and a lot of um, expertise, skill, uh, they were able to put this incredible place together, uh, which is really incredibly beautiful uh, and an incredible place to be, as, as people from all over the world know who've been there, uh, but really is doing an extraordinary bit to, to save Tibetan arts and culture. Uh, and when I say arts and culture, you know, certainly religion is part of the whole complex there. Uh, the painting, sculpture, uh, woodwork, uh, architecture, uh, uh, gardens, everything that you would think of, uh, food, uh, everything is there if you want to be immersed in Tibet. Uh, unfortunately, now with COVID-19, obviously there are fewer people who are going there, and uh, this is a moment where they can use your help. Uh, I know they have an online uh, store where you can buy these incredible artifacts of Tibetan culture, whether it's textiles or statues and paintings, uh, whatever it may be. Um, please take advantage of that. It's beautiful stuff. Uh, it's very connected to His Holiness. I know His Holiness takes a lot of pride in it and has from the very beginning. I know he's delighted by its success and what it means to the Tibetan community, but also what it means to the rest of the world, that these ideas, um, it, it's philosophy, psychology, it's, it's arts, it's, it's deep culture has now found a way to go around the world and have a positive influence everywhere. So please take advantage of the online possibilities of helping out Norbu Linka and buying these beautiful things, uh, becoming part of that community which is there to help this incredible Tibetan culture survive and transform also not as a museum piece, but as a living culture moving into the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th centuries. Uh, it's very important. Stay connected with us. Norbalinka. Bye-bye.